lots of breast cancer headlines in the news this week. One of them is that Amanda Doyle, Glennon Doyle's sister, shared that she had been diagnosed with breast cancer. And she talks about the fact that she had actually gone for a risk assessment, um, was, was found out that she was at high risk for breast cancer, and then because of the high risk, decided to get an MRI. Now, we don't know a lot about what her risk is. We don't know, um, you know, about prior mammograms. And I know that she shared some on social media and some on her podcast, and I haven't listened uh, to the podcast yet. So some of that may be disclosed there. But because of that MRI, because she was high risk, she went to get the MRI and was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I think this is such an important point, and I've talked about this before, is that we we need people to know their breast cancer risk. And I think this is where these um, social media platforms and education is really important because I urge people to say to their doctor, hey, can we talk about my breast cancer risk? There are validated risk assessment tools like the Tyra Cusick and others that can help women figure out if they're at high risk. Um, if you have dense breasts, you're at higher risk for breast cancer. 50% of the population has dense breasts. And so then we consider supplemental imaging, you know, adding um, ultrasound or MRI to your mammogram. Question I get asked is, well, how do we, what do we do? Do we add ultrasound or do we add MRI? Do we add both? And that really depends on your risk. That's an individual discussion with your team. And if you are high risk, people may benefit from being seen at a high risk breast clinic where they really can assess your risk in a very precise way as much as possible and then tailor the imaging and the surveillance appropriately. Second question I get asked is if mammogram is not, good enough alone for a portion of the population, why don't we just do ultrasound or MRI? And the reason for that is that mammography can pick up things that ultrasound and MRI cannot. So mammograms will pick up calcifications that you can't see on ultrasound or MRI. And so that's why it's important that we do the imaging together. Now, a lot of new advances coming, a lot of things being researched, uh, and I get asked about those modalities. But for right now, the standard is mammogram and then supplemental imaging depending on your individual risk. Another thing that Amanda Doyle shared is that she is having a mastectomy. Now, we don't know the reasons for why she's having the mastectomy instead of a lumpectomy, but some of the reasons why we do a mastectomy instead of a lumpectomy is one for genetic uh, mutation that predisposes you to having a second breast cancer, such as the BRCA mutation. Um, sometimes people have multifocal disease, meaning it's in multiple areas, and so a lumpectomy is not surgically possible. Sometimes people opt to have a mastectomy, and they may opt to have a single mastectomy or a bilateral mastectomy on both sides. Um, sometimes the location or the size of the cancer, again, makes a lumpectomy surgically not the best option. So those are some of the reasons. Um, lastly, I want to wish Amanda well. It takes a lot to share publicly. It's a very vulnerable time, but sharing will help so many people advocate for themselves. And I'm always grateful when people use their platforms to share that type of education. Let me know what questions you have, anything you want me to talk about.